Hi guys and welcome back into the kitchen. Um, another great pasta recipe for you today. Um, this is one that I see on TikTok and it kind of took the internet by storm. Um, I seen it, I had to try it and then I thought, oh, I wonder if I can turn this into low protein and it works just as good. So I thought I'd share it with you. So <clears throat> it's a roasted tomato and cheese sauce which we roast in the oven um, and then you can stir that sauce through your low profit pasta i'm using fusley but again you can use any shape you want it's great with a tagliatelle and it's great with um spaghetti so to start off we've got 150 grams of mediterranean feta style low protein cheese you pop that into a oven proof dish or a tin and then i've got 250 grams of baby tomatoes or plum tomatoes, whatever you can get. And I've just sliced these in half and then you just arrange these around the outside of the cheese. And then to that, I've got two cloves of garlic, which I've sliced. If you don't have fresh garlic, you can use two teaspoons of the garlic puree. So again, just sprinkle them around. And then I've got some olive oil, uh, 25 grams. So I'm just going to pour that all over the cheese and the tomatoes. So everything is really coated. So that's our oil in. I'm then going to season this, lots of black pepper. Um, and I'm going to use some um, sea salt as well in this. So there's our pepper, let's add some salt over the tomatoes. And then I'm gonna pop in a teaspoon of um, dried mixed herbs. You can use basil in this, you can use oregano, any of the herbs would be really good. Now you wanna roast this in a hot oven, um, 200 degrees until the tomatoes are charred and broken down about 20 minutes. Sometimes it's a little bit longer, depends on how big your dish is. So pop that into the oven. I've got one that I've already cooked. So here it is. All of the tomatoes are um, charred. They've broken down. I've added some fresh basil onto this as well, but you don't need to. The cheese is all soft and gooey. So just with the back of a fork, all I'm going to do is just mash the cheese into the tomatoes. You'll get some puree and you'll get some that still stay quite chunky, which is lovely in this sauce. Again, if you want a smoother sauce or it's a, a small um, PKU, like Thailand doesn't like a lot of lumps. So I would just use the hand blender on this one and just blend it through. But if you're okay with lumps and chunks in there, and it absolutely smells amazing. I do wish you could smell this one. Um, and again, great for batch cooking, so you can just make a lot of this sauce, keep the sauce separate, let it go cold, pop it in um, some tubs and pop it in the freezer until you need it, and then you can just heat that up. So there's our creamy, roasted tomato sauce. So I've got some pasta that I've just cooked. So let's pour some of that onto our plate. You can put the pasta in the sauce and coat that in. Um, I'm just gonna put some on top so you can see it. There's our pasta. Let's get rid of our fork. And then let's just pop over some of our lovely, amazing garlic sauce. There's that, and then let's finish it just with a little sprig of basil. So there you've got your TikTok low protein pasta, um, a really quick and easy, simple meal for um, weeknights. Again, you can batch make this and freeze it and then your pasta can be ready in the fridge. Great with all of the low protein, low protein pasta. 
So um, spaghetti is great with this, but tagliatelle is amazing with this one as well. So give it a try. Um, I know you're going to love this recipe. As always, the recipes are on Low Protein Connect. Let me know if you need any hints and tips or any help with pasta cooking. Um, if not, I'll see you next time back in the kitchen. See you later. Bye.